Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex. This is my first video in a while since I've been out of town, so I'm so excited. Today, we are gonna be looking at 15 ideas for the school in Happy Home Paradise. So you do need the HHP DLC in order to build a school. And it is one of the, I can't even remember what they're called right now. It's not a villager house, a facility, there it is. So let's get into it. Let's see how players from all over the place have been decorating their schools. I decided to start with mine, not because I'm an egotist, but because I feel like it is kind of unique, you know? My school is called YouTube University and the idea behind it is that this is where students learn how to stream, how to edit videos. I chose Claude as my teacher just because I thought he was cute. And I mean, look at him and his little glasses. He is vibing. He's just being a good teacher out here. I also included a trash can in the back of the room so that they could bring snacks and throw away their wrappers. I don't know what my thought process was there. Like they don't need to have food near computers, but there were a few schools that due to technical difficulties or submission difficulties, I wasn't able to visit myself. So for those, I will just showcase pictures provided by the creators who made them. I love this little school. It's such a classic, uh, aesthetic for a school building. I love these little images that really showcase, you know, the villagers who are students here. So I actually kind of like this take. Look at how precious this is. Like I said, a very classic school aesthetic. Up next is a classroom inspired by Hogwarts. I really love this one. It seems to be uh, inspired by a charms class, perhaps, given the wand on the table. I love that effect, by the way, the polishing effect that makes it sparkle. And this creator used Claude as their teacher, too. I loved that. I also thought it was precious that Eric sat at the teacher's table. He really said that he was the professor today. I love the little touches, like the candle chandelier and the, like, the knight armor in the corner. I feel like that really matches the aesthetic of Hogwarts, and I appreciated that attention to detail. Even the little butterflies around the plant felt very magical and very Hogwarts to me. As always, I wanted to showcase all sorts of themes for Happy Home Paradise schools, and this one really blew me away. I thought it was absolutely adorable. This is like a pre-K slash kindergarten sort of classroom. I loved those party garlands on the ceiling. It was just so precious, and there were even bathrooms in this room, which I thought was definitely fitting. I always had attached bathrooms in my preschool and kindergarten classrooms. I thought it was funny that Bianca was reading a book in the bathroom. It's giving moaning myrtle to me. I also just really loved the colors here. It was so bright and happy and the students really did seem so kid-like to me. It was so cute. I mean, look at them. They are learning. They're looking at picture books. That's the canon here. And I love the stuffed animals in the corner. You know, they have a nice little play area. It was just, wow. I just loved the vibes here. On the complete opposite side of the spectrum, because look at me, we're including all kinds of themes. This is a cadaver classroom. These animals are dissecting human beings. And I just want to point out that these mannequins are not like the humans in Animal Crossing. They have fingers and toes. This is us. In the Animal Crossing cinematic universe, the villagers are dissecting us to learn more about who we are. It's almost like they're aliens and they're doing their research before they take over our world. That's what I was thinking about while I was here. I think it's super creative how this island designer decided to make this into, you know, some kind of biology room. Maybe they're practicing for a morgue job. This next classroom made me so nostalgic. It reminded me so much of my elementary school. Obviously we didn't have like a T-Rex coming out of the wall, but the little teacher corner, the area for cubby slash lockers, this little like reading mat, this activity corner in the room. I was also really caught up on the fact that there is a pet hamster here and Flurry is sitting very close to it. So I was wondering if she had any thoughts about that, about being a hamster and having a 
class pet that is a hamster. Very interesting um, dynamic here at this school. I also thought it was cute that there was this like workstation with computers and other things available to students, other study materials. It just felt really realistic for a classroom. I like all of the detail that went into it, all of the thought at what students might need in their classroom. It just really rang true for me as a schoolroom. I thought it was quite well done. This classroom did not give me nostalgia, but it did give me a healthy dose of jealousy because these students get a beachfront classroom. Look at that view through the window. I love again the garlands hanging from the ceiling. They're so cute. I love the color scheme of this room. I thought it was cute that Jeremiah was the professor and look at this little heart on the board. Oh my goodness. I just thought this was so adorable. I love the iPad set up on the table. I did catch some classroom drama there. Um, Vivian was not having it. I just thought this was really cute. Again, the color scheme was great. I love the decor on the walls. The room just felt so homey, so cozy. And I like the theme that we're seeing of class pets. This room too had a little pet hamster. Animal Crossing players are endlessly creative. This is a baking class. How precious is that? I also could not help but notice how similar this is to the Great British Baking Show. That actually might be, it actually might just be completely inspired by the Great British Baking Show. You can come to this classroom to feel like you're on the show because I mean everything from the way the counters are set up to the little table in the corner where, you know, the judges would sit and talk about who was going to go home, etc. It's just so cool. It's fully stocked. They've got their own mini grocery store full of ingredients. It was just, wow, this is so well done. This next classroom is one that I was unable to visit myself, but I loved it. I love the childlike kid core vibes here. This definitely felt like another kindergarten slash pre-K classroom. I love that the froggy chairs are being used as the actual student chairs here and the strawberry milk. I just thought this was adorable. Look how happy these little villagers look. They're so precious. I just really appreciated this kid core aesthetic for a classroom. Very good. If I had to place this classroom, I'd say it reminds me of maybe a middle school science classroom. I love that there's like a little reading area for students, a hand washing area. They clearly have lab stuff on their desk from the microscope to the like lab experiment set. I can't remember what that's actually called, but the anteater here is working with potions. Things are being created. It also reminded me of my science class where I had to make a light bulb work. For some reason, that's what this whole classroom was giving for me. And we also still have classroom pets. This one has a goldfish and a hamster, and thankfully there is not a hamster student this time. I was unable to visit this classroom as well, but I loved the idea here. This was like a school for witchcraft. Students are learning how to cast spells. I think the mood here is really well done and get ready check out this dark version of the room so cool i love that the students are so cutely dressed it's just wow how adorable is this it was reminding me of american horror story the witch season this player's school is actually the school yard which i thought was so creative we have you know this chalk outline on the ground for um i why can i not remember what this is called hopscotch right Yes, I thought this was such a cute idea. I don't think I've ever seen someone convert their school like facility in Happy Home Paradise into an outdoor space. And I thought this was just super clever. You know, this is where the kids get to go for recess. They get to do some crafts out here. They really just get to do whatever. And Claude got to be a student instead of a teacher this time. We have Deirdre at this school as the teacher and she looks so official and cute and professional. Look at her go. I think I do talk to, yes, I do. Ready for a lesson, this one's really important. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, make time to hang out with friends and relax. That's it. I love her. 
We've got some grade A pastry chefs in this next classroom. This is another take on a baking classroom. I thought this was really well done too. I love the pink theme here. And at first I thought that Judy was the teacher because she just looks so well dressed. And then I realized that all of them were adorable, but it's Meringue's classroom, which makes so much sense. She's like the queen of desserts. She's literally a dessert herself. So I just really enjoyed this. I didn't realize how many pink items there were that related to kitchenware before this. I thought this was adorable and I love the details of the sloppy, um, the sloppy kitchen. I can't remember what it's called, but the sink full of dishes, the snack bread. It was all so adorable, so well put together. This classroom also had some kid core vibes. I really loved the ladybug uh, rug in the corner of the room. I thought that really, I don't know. It really made the classroom for me. I also loved the mismatched chairs in this room. And I thought it was hilarious that while I was here, Apollo kept dozing. I think it's so cool that the villagers can like react to furniture and stuff in Happy Home Paradise. Um, I did talk to Apollo to make sure he was snoozing. He was, he told me to go away and uh, He's about to get busted, I think, by Deirdre. I thought that was hilarious. Deirdre is the professor here, the teacher here as well. Look at her. She just blew up at him for being asleep. He went right back to sleep. So I decided that I was going to distract Deirdre by talking to her. And she said, if you find yourself both overthinking and underthinking, try to do an average of both. And then she did notice Apollo and yell at him again. I'm pretty sure he went back to sleep. This is the last classroom that I didn't get to visit myself, but I did really appreciate it. I love the trophy case that's set up here. I feel like that item is best used for school, so this stood out to me. I thought it was really well arranged and great. At this point, thanks to all of the RAs that I visited, all of the dream suites or whatever, not dream suites, you know what I mean, all of the rooms here, I got the new banner for my profile. You get new banners as you visit, um, more and more of other people's builds in Happy Home Paradise, so I got the shiny one. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you're feeling inspired. This has been a highly requested video for a while looking at Happy Home Paradise facilities, so I hope this inspires you to play today. Uh, if you had a favorite, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time on Thursday, hopefully. See you then, and bye for now.